Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 43 of Let's Play Minecraft. Since last time it was a little bit boring, I thought today we will uh, increase the pace of how we do things, get things ready. Uh, I have upgraded my uh, mass fab setup here. Basically I have three recyclers with ten overclockers each. You can see how ridiculous these guys are moving here. Um, they're just, isn't that ridiculous? And the scrap gets sent here nonstop, and this thing is just flying like crazy, as you can see. We have now 21,285 millibuckets, so over 21 buckets full. I have set up my assembler here, the lasers here, and I was just making red chips earlier. I put them away already. And I think that pretty much rounds up that. Then, out here, bees are getting better. I'm finally in, oops, uh, I'm finally into... Um, if I can get here. Uh, we got Noble, which they're finally stacking, Woot, and the Unweary, which are also now stacking. So they're going to run overnight, and then I'll keep breeding from there. So I'm really happy about that. That's that's a big, uh, that's a big you know, yay for us for that one. Uh, besides that, I think that's pretty much it for differences or changes with our base. Uh, today we're going to work on making a few things. So first we're going to make these uh, dimensional transceivers. We're going to go do that now and we're going to hit shift click this and we're going to make two of them today. So there is one and we're actually a little out of electric steel here it looks like. So we're going to quickly make some electric steel and uh, silicone, coal and uh, iron. I was going to make some but I guess I got sidetracked at one point and forgot to make more so uh, let's go ahead and make a stack of it, shall we? So I got silicone, and then I need coal, which I know one of these have a lot of coal, and then, uh, actually, I think that's my silicone as well in there. There you go, silicone, there you go. So, coal, silicon, and iron. There you go. And that'll make that. I think I was off one steel, so I'll just wait for that. I upgraded this, actually, to an octactic uh, capacitor, the last tier. Uh, that way that machine works a little better than normal and there we go so we got two of them and they stack i guess that they're the same information we won't use that rate yet now but it'll be used uh, very soon hopefully uh the next thing that we're going to look into is um apply energetics why oh yeah inscriber inscriber so uh we're going to make this inscriber now before we get there you might notice something interesting uh the inscriber here uh requires uh, something special here, this pure certus quartz. Now this pure certus quartz you normally couldn't get anywhere, but uh, you have to do it through like some kind of really annoying process. Basically you drop a certus quartz seed made from certus quartz dust and sand into a puddle of water, make the process faster, add a crystal growth accelerator. So basically it took the certus quartz and uh, I grounded regular surface quartz down to dust, and then I added the dust into sand. I threw it into a puddle, and I literally went to bed and came back, and it was in the ground, fine, done. And uh, you can see I actually have quite a few here. Uh, here you go, plus this one. That's basically you can duplicate your surface quartz, plus for some reason this recipe requires it, so that's what I did. Uh, it also requires an overclocker, which is interesting. Uh, so we should be able to make this recipe, I think. Oh, no, we need two slimes here on a piston. And now we should be able to make it. Ta-da. Okay. And now the reason we're making this is because we need to make something else here, which is a core sampler, which is very important because this is what we're going to do to get ore with like uranium, etc. soon. So the core sampler requires a mining well, mining drill, etc. But in the computer craft here, it requires this legit logic processor, which requires uh, a logic uh, inscriber here. So we're going to look inscriber here and hopefully inscriber, we have uh, logic, yeah, here it is. And we're going to type in the word gold here. And it doesn't matter how many we make. If you want to make 32, that's fine, or 16. Probably have to be careful because we probably don't have that much. I'm hoping I can place this on top of this, but it probably... Oh, it works. So it does use normal vanilla power, thankfully. So you can shift-click that, shift-click this, and it should work. Now be warned that uh, you can't kind of uh, just, you know, shove it in there. So let's see here. Um... Let's see, hopper maybe? There you go. Yeah, the push thing doesn't work anymore. I broke it. I, it's probably an easy fix. I just got lazy to 
go back in the control panel. So it looks like the power is actually losing the, that's interesting. I wonder if I put that lever on this, if this thing would just shut down. That would be actually interesting. Never tried that. I think that'd be worthwhile just to see what happens here. Cause it's so slow. Like it's like, eh, do I even bother? There you go. Oh yeah. There you go. So this is actually off finally. So the scrap will fill, these ones will shut down, then the power will start building up here. It'll be actually interesting to watch these grow a bit and then release it all at once just for fun. But anyways, there is that going. Um, so that is a big, huge task done. The next thing I want to do is make uh, some drills, vanilla drills here. Basically, we're going to need batteries, and I'm going to need two of them. One, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hopefully these are copper and not, or iron and not tin. And two electric motors. There you go. So these are just the power units. We've made these a couple times already. For example, our electric wrench, I believe. Maybe only once. I feel like I built it another time too. Uh, and then, yeah, so then you have this with the iron plate. So we go whoop and whoop. So this is mixing and mashing some recipes. Some people would be quite disgusted by this. I like it a lot though. Um, but yeah, there you go. And then um, we're going to use this machine today again. This was our fun little tuning table here. I needed it for, I think, the electric drill. The, there's another one here, a diamond version. I guess it's in here. Here it is. Yeah, here it is. So you need this here. So uh, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's not really a hard one to remember. So here you go. Five. Oh crap! We need to put this in here. Okay, five, four. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Four. Th okay. Uh, four, three. Ch oh. You gotta really click at this thing. Uh, three, two. There you go. And then one. There you go. Five. Oh. Oh, it says drill there. I didn't realize it actually said things there, too. Cool. So that is for the drill and then this thing is probably getting to the point where ooh, you know what I just remembered I'm gonna need to make silicon I hope I have that plate because I actually don't think I have it um, let's see here wrong one wait was that the right one? Oh crap we're looking at the wrong thing here it was computer craft silly computer craft yeah uh, printed oh silicon press um, Ooh, we do have the silicon one and then we need to get silicon so we just got some actually we we're just using it but we'll get some out of here I know I had some in here left aha here we go one two let's just get rid of it so we have 16 to match what we were doing over here there you go so we can take this out you take this out you dump this one in here and dump that in there yeah there you go we'll put the rest in there Okay, so we can get rid of this now, probably. And uh, let's see what else we have here. So we got that done. We're doing the electric drill here, which we need a diamond version here. So we just go here. And this is a really cool drill, but we're not going to use it. We're literally just skipping this whole process. Here's the diamond tip drill. And then we're taking that diamond tip drill and we're making the advanced version of it, which isn't a really hard recipe, but uh, goodbye. And then here we go, boom, boom, and there we have it. And you cannot change the mode on it too. I've never really done that. I guess uh, was I did it. Big holes, so that's cool. Maybe we'll give it a try since we've never done it. Hopefully it doesn't screw it up, or I'll have to make another one. But uh, holds 45k EU, so it's not too bad. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Pick up my bag. Pick up my bag darn magnet or something prevents it from picking up just because like it seems that you don't want to pick it up right away 
which is, that's proper. I mean, you don't want it to pick up the second you drop it. So this will go through dirt, I think, really fast. Back in the day, at least it did. And then, uh, oh yeah, so it does three by three. And then, yeah, when you do that stuff, it goes even faster. So that's pretty damn badass. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Ah. I go through my thing really fast too. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that accidentally though. And then what we need to do, and hopefully this is fine, uh, it's two iron blocks here and two pieces of iron and boom. This is the drill bit here, which is from Immersive Engineering, which kind of sounds cool. Probably something for their own kind of drill that we just destroyed and made. And then uh, pretty much we need to finish off that chip. So. Uh, actually, let's look quickly here. I need to f remember. It's been a while. Uh, redstone, that's what it was. So we just need to make sure we get this done and get rid of this. I was like, my inventory really filled up, but I felt like, like we didn't have that much, but that's because I screwed around. Ow. Here you go. So these are done. Perfect. So now what we do is we throw this in, we throw this in, and uh, we throw this in. Oh, I was like, oh crap, is it working? But it is. Oh, it's the redstone, there it is. Are you bad? Talk about bad luck there, just throwing things on my inventory. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, so this is this is all maxed out, I guess, pretty much. I don't want too much downtime for this anyways, but let's see what happens when we turn this on. So look how fast that is. Isn't that ridiculous? The scrap won't keep up, that's for sure. It'll be pretty much empty soon. That's ridiculous. Yeah, they're draining. It's just fun to see that, you know, that ability just to go... Voo, 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 voo. Very cool. We actually are gonna want this though here in a minute when we have this thing assembled, because uh, I want to do uh, what I'm gonna show you today. You guys will love hopefully. It's a really big surprise hopefully if you don't know what I'm doing. If you've seen it before, not so much of a surprise, but it is a big deal for us uh, in our advancement into the future. So there you go. Um, I might actually. Hell, let's make another one. I might use these eventually. So. Uh, computer craft, that's a fun little thing. We'll even set one up here for later. So you can program it. It's like a, a computer and you can type in stuff. Uh, LL maybe? LS? Okay, so CD ROM. LS. So you got things here. LS, uh, CD programs. LS. Uh, so you get like different things. Monitor, move, clear, exit, AP. Huh, GPS. GPS host. Oops. Oh, you need a modem, wireless modem to get the information. Um, yeah. You do redstone signals, I assume. Oh, redstone. Ah, there you go. Redstone, and then you could say side left value one maybe oh color probably bundle cables so you could probably put like we have redstone on us anyways maybe like that let's see if this does something oh here you go redstone oh sorry pulse uh left uh ten one period one like one second there you go cool huh you might stall a bit there if that's the server lagging a bit or something or my internet lagging but yeah so there you go so that's computer craft we could probably try to figure out making programs or more fine programs and try them out later on for fun so here we go uh, I think we're ready to make our mining well which I'm gonna need to make few of these later on making one now but I'll make more later uh, off camera if we need them but uh, the first ones on the house you you and I are part of it ooh that looks like a dense thing or something oh it is dense 
It looks so different. It didn't look like dense there, but then, you know, it was dense. Dense iron, two please. Thank you. And here we go. Mining well. And you, my friend, are here. You are here. You dense guys are up here. You are up here. And my friend here. There we go. And then uh, we need to make some steel scaffolding, steel, steel, basically lots of steel. So let's get started on this. Hopefully it works. Apparently it's all ore dictionary, so it shouldn't matter, but uh, we'll find out in a minute, won't we? Ooh, look at this. Ooh, pistons and everything. Ooh, this is exciting. So let's get rid of you. Sure, probably not, but we'll get rid of all this stuff anyways. I'll just assume I did all this already. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to need a lot more steel here, but first let's get these guys here. Uh, these guys are interesting. Copper and steel. Huh? Copper and steel. So how many of these do I need? I'm going to need more probably over time. Oh, and pistons. Yeah, pistons. I'm going to need a lot more actually. Even more pistons here. i got some here, but probably not even enough for eventually what we're going to do here. So an electrum, silly. I need a missile electrum. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. Uh, silver and uh, silver and oh crap. Silver and gold is electrum. I really hope not, but it probably is. Damn it. I'm. Uh... Oh, immersive engineering has it too. Yeah, gold and silver. I'm not happy with the gold because I'm running low on gold, but uh, we do what we got to do, right, my friends? I know you can do something with these two. I should look into this. I think you can smelt them for double output, so we should do that uh, even off camera. It just doesn't like, you know, smelting one, redstone one, alloy smelter one, 16, um, calculate. 16 should give me times 9 should give me 144. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't really get much out of that. But you can get molten aluminum. What? Oh, to make a nugget cast. Sorry. I want to see what we get out of these, if there's anything outside of this. Basically, it's all used to make, uh, yeah. So it just seems like the best way is basically a nugget, yeah. So I should start throwing those eventually into a furnace and then taking the nuggets and turning them into some bars and they'll get us some more. So let's go over here. This will be a little faster, thankfully. A lot faster. Some of the alloys, of course, are slower uh, because, you know, that's how they are, harder alloys, etc. But it's pretty decently fast, as you saw there. Okay, so I think we have most of everything here for these guys now. So we got to make these ones, which is out of copper. I know I'm going to need more of these over time. Uh, I know I'm going to need a lot more, to be honest. Uh, but we'll get started with that. Let's build these here. So let's get two of them just for this part, and then we'll take care of the rest later. And then the scaffolding, these guys, I know I'm going to need a couple of these at least, so we'll just start with that, and then we'll start with this. And then, can I shift click this? No. Should be able to. I think I have it all, right? It's like the nervous moment. Did we do it? Did we fail? And, uh, it's like we failed. Where are you? Sorry, fence, I think was the last one. There we go. This is a big part of our little puzzle here. That's my fortune pick. <laughs> as well throw, eh, we'll keep the lumber axe for now. Okay, so now that we have this, uh, I just have one more thing I need to do here. Yeah, that's it. I need to make HV wiring here, HV. And uh, I don't know how well this is gonna work, guys, to be honest. I mean, this is the first time for me, of course, so. <laughs> Make a joke out of that word. 
I'll shoot you all. Anyways, uh, let's go here and uh, let's do this, my friends. So this is our basically main connection right here, as we know. So what I'm going to do is, at least from now, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to place this on the ground. And hopefully, I don't know how this works. Wow. 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 This looks badass in multiple ways. I think we can have multiple connections to kind of... Oh, it even has a power storage or something, I guess. Oh, crap. We probably want to put this on the right connection. Private channel. Cane uh, main, I guess. Cane send. That's power, I guess, I'm assuming. I don't know. We'll find out here in a second. So, boom and boom. Yeah, there's the power. Okay. But, from what I understand, you can do multiple of these to harness more at a time. Though this is probably more than enough. But just in case, let's uh, make sure it's nice and hooked up. Okay, so... Local buffer, send and receive buffer. Oh, okay. Well, the upkeep is 10 RF. Bastards. So this can do 20,000 RF a tick, which is apparently a lot less than the other Tesseracts, but at the same time, I don't mind. Plus, I don't think... I'm not sure, but I think the Tesseracts don't eat any energy, but I could be wrong. So basically, what you want to do now is hit F9, please. Yes. This is your chunks. Hit one more time. You get a better look at your chunks. So basically, this will scan ores in your chunks every whatever. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to place this down. And we're going to take this and we're going to say receive. And this will run. And basically, you right-click this and this will progress. Send and receive buffer. That is so freaking cool. So you can kind of know what's on the other side a bit better. So when you click this, it'll scan this chunk, and you can you scan every chunk basically. You don't have to scan every one, but it gets a core sample. Isn't it cool? It has a little thing that comes up, and when it hits to 100%, it'll tell you if there's anything valuable under the ground, and then you can do something about it. So no minerals found, which is pretty common, I think. So you just keep going and do it again, basically. So we go over here, and boom, boom. Do I do I lose this? No, you don't. So it keeps going. Good. And this is going to be annoying, so you might want to get rid of this for now. And my reactor should be running. Oh, it's actually depleted. And hopefully I found a thing, because you don't want to build this monster thing if uh, it doesn't work this episode. But no big deal. We did a lot anyway, so no minerals found. Oh, I guess I should have gone a little further. So this was this chunk, this was that chunk, here's this chunk. And then we'll do it again. So yeah, I think this is NEI, not enough items that might do the F9 function, or maybe it's part of Code Chicken Core or something like that, but I believe it's one of his mods that actually do it. So what else does this thing does? Oh yeah, you can do rail, uh, like actual mining rails to teleport. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. I haven't, I'll, we'll figure that out. I'll play around with it probably off camera or something and then tell you about it. But yeah, you can send items, you can send power. You can do multiple things anyways. It's really cool. Probably even redstone signals. I don't know, you know, all of it, but there you go. So as you can see, it's like a hit and miss. It's not going to be 100%. Uh, I guess we'll do it there here. I just don't want to get too close. I don't want to have to smash my building up to place a, a thing down, but I think it would fit here if we needed to. Yeah, so we'll probably make the machine on the next episode, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. 
We'll we'll go for the next episode for the thing. Hopefully, maybe this episode will find something here. Yeah, these are going good. So I need to transfer these off soon. Five and nine. Hasn't really had much of a chance. It's probably not good to spam it. But I'm hyper, I'm hyper. Oh, here, I'll go box site. Uh, I don't know what box site would offer because it's not in here. Box site immersive engineering. Immersive engineering, blah, blah, blah. Mineral deposits. Let's see what this one says. Uh, box site provides. Boxite ore. Okay. It might come out with a tiny bit of something else, but overall, it's not worth it. So you pretty much don't want this. So I'm going to say let's move on. Uh, but we know that's Boxite anyway. So um, we can actually go like this and like type that in, I guess, right? Yeah, just box I I guess. And uh, I don't know. I could do black or something. And let's say, can I do this? Like underscore just so we know enable off there you go I'm hoping it doesn't put it like entry wise but whatever oh crap oh distance is sorted by so you can do by name okay that'll work fine for now okay so that's box site uh, box site is a Greg tech or I believe or at least mainly it was let's see when you click it box site Boxite is uh, or added to Greg Tech and Engineer's Toolbox. There you go. Boxite is primary source of aluminum and titanium. Engineer's Toolbox. I'm pretty sure we don't have that. What is this? Engineer is a tech mod for by Emasher. Adds a modular sockets to allow modules to be installed into certain tasks. Here you go. And no minerals found, of course. So it's like a, a mini game basically you go around and scan your neighborhood and you just go from there so there you guys have it that is the tour of the core sample drill the next episode I'll go ahead and make an actual drill and then uh, we will uh, give it a shot and see how it mines it'll be a slow at first but uh, it'll be worthwhile anyways and uh, yeah so I hope you girls and guys guys and girls or girls and guys or women and men enjoyed this episode please don't forget to subscribe comment like and we'll see you wonderful people next time